is there any thought that this is as good as it gets right now in, in uh, autos? Well, I don't think so. Um, we obviously have been surprised at the demand level through the pandemic, but it seems to have some legs. And what has really happened in our industry is the supply and demand balance has really been improved through this. And that's had benefits for our sector, but I also think you can see it in the auto manufacturer earnings that have been coming out the last week or so. That's an interesting point you make, because as we're sitting here thinking about the trajectory of the virus and what this next wave is ultimately going to look like, how concerned are you about a pickup in cases and what that would mean to the manufacturing process, which was obviously impacted last time? Well, a pickup in cases doesn't help anyone, right? That, that's a problem because then consumers stay home. We have to manage, uh, you know, our, our folks through all of that, which is challenging, and it will hit the manufacturers also. So this is a problem for all businesses. So we are concerned about that. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Certainly you are. What, what sort of degree are you concerned, though, about manufacturing? As you mentioned at the top, supply has been a problem um, are you are you worried that a, a large pickup in cases is going to hit manufacturing and then put you back at sort of square one where we were in the spring? Well, the bigger key for us is, is demand and the demand is clearly there. And, and quite frankly, although we may miss a few sales, we probably miss less than people think. And the auto distribution network has been stuffed with too many vehicles for almost a decade. So what you're seeing now is the system has been cleaned out and it's now a demand pull system. And you're seeing that it's very efficient and it has a financial benefit to the retailers and the manufacturers. So I think having uh, a tempered uh, a tempered buildup in supply is the best thing that can happen to the entire industry. What's driving your business more, cars or trucks, or is it both? Trucks, without a doubt, trucks. You think that's sustainable? Uh, yeah, I think that's been the trend in the market now for several years. And when I say trucks, I mean SUVs as well. You know, just the, the uh, versatility and the functionality of these bigger vehicles, uh, SUVs and, and trucks, seems to be what Americans want. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.